like a collar to the faithful companion or the faithful companion of his master. Hi guys. So um, the place I was going to to vlog today didn't happen but on the way home we happened on Kilkey Castle it is a uh, you know on a golf course that's the castle that's the golf course and just here we have a cemetery and some ruins as well so we're going to go up and take a look and read some headstones in here. So the weather hasn't been our friend today. It's extremely windy. We've had plenty of showers of rain. But look at this. Now the first thing that has caught my eye is this. And to me it looks like a greyhound. But it has almost like a, a human face to it. And that's just basically at the side of the, the runes. There's more on the ground here. So I wonder would this have been part of it. This looks like a lady. Possibly. Oh, do you know something? It's a mermaid. Look, that's the tail. It's a mermaid. Wow. Look at that. That is very interesting. But uh, I don't have an awful lot of information, but anything I find, I'll absolutely put it in the description box. This looks like um, a baptismal font. And we have what remains of a, an arch here. And then some headstones. I can see 1784 on this one. Here lieth the body of William Fitzpatrick, who departed this life February 1784. He was only 16 when he passed. So William Fitzpatrick, oh, very young. Nothing on that one. Now, once again, I'm kind of weary of where I'm walking. I want to get around to um, the headstone just here. There's that wind I've been speaking of. 1777, I think, is on this. Margaret. Let's have a closer look. here it's all broken. Make my way back up along so as far as I know the family that would have owned Kilkey Castle are buried in here. Um, it's now a hotel and I will take you along for a, a closer look if I am allowed to, to walk around as I said it's on a, a golf course. Now, I think we'll go in here first. We've actually got a coat of arms here on the ground. Maybe a, a dog up top. It's 
So where would those have come from, I wonder? Look at these. There's no writing in that. Wow, what is that? It kind of looks like a monkey. That is very strange. Or is it a, a dog? I'll have to look that one up. This one seems to have some sort of writing on it. Lady Mabel. It's Gerald, I think it is. 1939. Now I was told it was Fitzgerald that owned the castle. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Now would they have been standing? I don't know. And this one is identical. Beautiful. here. I've just noticed. Lord John Fitzgerald. 2015. 1952. 3rd of March 1952. 2015. So this is a newer memorial here, but I am presuming they are all Fitzgeralds. So as you can see, night time is falling fast. We've had really bad luck today with weather. And uh, as I said, I had to, one of the, the videos I wanted to do, we couldn't do. It was just far too wet. Now, can I get in here? I'm just curious. Oh, no. Tomb there. Wow, I've just noticed a huge hole. Let's have a look. And I just have to be careful. That is a hole in the ground. This would have looked maybe, I don't know, is this part of the church? Let's have a look at it first. It certainly looks like it was part of the church with a little doorway then. And this hole. I wonder would it have been a crypt of some kind maybe. Because we definitely have some sort of tombs here. Look at this. Wow that is our Lord and the cross. Absolutely gorgeous. Flowers. Flowers there. I wonder was that on top of there maybe? What do you think? And then we have this beautiful tomb here. Lovely. Just have to mind myself, don't fall into that hole. And you can see there the designs along it. So now, we'll go back over oh, this way. I just want to see if I can read this one. Here lies the body of Patrick Whelan. Something younger who departed this life. 1766, age seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. There's the date, 1766. Patrick. And as I said, the noise is coming from the, the golf course. Wow, that is getting very windy. We're only getting over Storm Barra in Ireland here. It kind of happened Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, we were fortunate southeast. Didn't, you know, we weren't, I suppose, in, right in the path of it. We escaped a good bit of the, the bad weather. 
Now we have this part. It's quite hard to understand. Was this all inside or do you know what? Was that a separate building to this one? Have we anything in here to see? We have what looks like was an entrance way. Look at the windows, beautiful. We have steps here. So we'll go this way. I'm trying to get this sun uh, a little bit quicker just to escape what's coming. It certainly looks like we're ready for more rain. Anything on this now? I see a Patrick, all right. 18, 49, 8, 62, and three of his sons, Lawrence, died. Can't read that. There's a 23 year old. There's a Christopher. Looks like 22. It's just hard to believe that all this is, is here, really. Just the way it's laid out is quite unusual. If I can find anything of the old building, any photos or anything, I'll definitely put them up. 1778, let me see now. The body of George Stevenson. 1778, age 47, also his son George. Looks like he was 19 when he died. Three tombs just there, right under this beautiful window. There's a headstone. The body of John Byrne departed this life. 17, 34 maybe, aged 18. Also his brother. Andrew and Darby and their grandfather mother wow Nanigan looks like it's the surname and then decided we have another one this stone is erected by Mrs. Judith look to the memory of her beloved husband Peter uh, March 18 26 age 60 um, amicable in his public as well as his private character died he died sincerely laminated by his friends stop reader stop God's noblest words to scan something Christian and something an honest man maybe wow stop reader stop wow that is really cool. Look at those designs there as well. And we have the tombs just here. We have three of them. Mrs. Elizabeth Hogan, it looks like, of Carlo. Too hard to read it. Um, it was an 18. 32 down at the bottom. So 
Elizabeth's Elizabeth Hughes, sorry, it's Hughes. And this is erected by Richard. Sacred to the memory of his dearly beloved parents. And I can't quite read it and I'm not. I think the name is Germain. There's a John Germain there, aged uh, 1817, age 21. This tomb was placed here by Mr. James Germain, memory of his dearly beloved wife, Anne, who departed his life. Can't see it, 1827 actually, I think it is, and their children who died young. And beside that one, then we have this. This stone is erected by Philip Germain, memory of his wife, Mary. 1822 it looks like and also Thomas and it looks like he was only 22 when he passed look at that isn't that gorgeous and we have another tomb here underfoot 1776 it looks like it's Patrick Banfield maybe Probably won't pick that up, 1776. But it's quite, quite beautiful. We have another one, just down here. It's like a little iron cross. Under the trees. I'm just going to zoom in to see it. Can you see that? There it is. Amazing. And if I come back around here, just look at the colours of the leaves. How beautiful. Now, in loving memory of Willie, who died in 1941, age 7, his sister Bridie. 1941, age just three, and also two babies who died young. Oh, so all little, little children buried here. That's so sad. Willie, Bridie, and two day, two babies. Also, just here. Absolutely gorgeous here. Loving me memory of Patrick Travers, who died May 1919, and his son, 1966. Die will be done. You might have seen their little golf cart going by. So it's strange that the modern is here with the old. This is erected by Michael Travers in memory of his parents. Michael Travers and Mary Travers, also his brothers James and John. Gorgeous cross there, and at the side then it says, also his sisters Bridget and Mary, and then the above Michael. Michael himself died in 1964. And we've one here under the tree. There's actually two, I think. Getting back out into the wind, of course. Look at the size of this one. Directed by James Murphy of Kilkee in memory of his beloved wife Margaret Murphy, who departed this life February 1865. Looks like she was 70. So that's completely leaning forward. And then this one. This looks new. Or at least the surroundings is new. John Toole, memory of his posterity. Wow. This stone is erected by John Toole in memory of his posterity. And see the surroundings of it is quite new. We have this with beautiful designs on it. Wow, look at that. O'Toole wrote on it. 
and that must be the crest. I don't think the light is going to help much there. Renovated 2013 by Lawrence O'Toole. Look at that. Oh, I just can't really see it properly. But I'm going to try and make my way back out. Iron cross there. So it seems to be um, a mixture of graves in here, but <coughs> excuse me, those uh, big crosses that are lying down are of the family that I presume owned Kilkey Castle. But if I make my way across here, there is something under this beautiful tree. see what this is. Two memorials. So this one has, wow, 1891 Sean 1902. It's like a collar to the faithful companion, or the faithful companion of his master. W. Fitzgerald, I think it is, 1908, 1913. I can't read the bottom, I might be able to read that in And this one says Jessie, 1893. She was a dandy. Didn't want that for 12 years was more faithful to him than her master's shadow. There are men, both good and wise, who hold that in a future state. Dumb creatures we have cherished here below shall give shall give us joyous greeting when we pass the Golden Gate. Is it folly, Hat? I hope. It is with folly, Hat, I hope it may be so. For never man had friend more enduring to the end. Truer made it every turn of time and tide. Could I think we'd meet again, it would lighten half the pain of the thought that my pet had died. That is obviously a verse there for Jesse, 1895. And we we're just basically at the side of Kilkey Castle here. So I've just brought this in to the grounds of the castle. You can see that they're already uh, Christmas. Christmas wreath of the castle. So, as I said, this is uh, a hotel. But uh, I thought it was worth trying to come in and just have a look at the area that we're in. So these are the walled gardens. Really beautiful, really nicely done. And you can see it's like a, a trellis. All the flowers, and roses.
the little hedges we see commonly in um, castles. So can you imagine this when it's really, really dark, how beautiful this would be. And we'll keep going. This looks like it was a um, vegetable area. So as I turn around, you can get the full picture of the, the castle there. So really, really beautiful. And we have the lake here as well. So I just thought it was worth showing you after being in that lovely little um, graveyard. What is this? It's like a little lookout. Let me see if we can find a torch. We have a fireplace. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Ah. Yeah, it's just a, a little lookout tower over the Oh, the, the lake. And this little gate, look at that. And that looks like it's original. And then that brings us to this lovely little area along by the river. Really nice, look at that. Wow, that is gorgeous, so well done. So nice. And as I said, we're on a, a golf course. That tree is just beautiful. And when I was in the area, and, you know, trying to get the video of the I thought I'd just have to come in and show you the Kilkee Castle and as I said a hotel now amazing absolutely beautiful right guys I think I will leave it there as I said the video I wanted to do didn't turn out um, as planned but uh, look at things happen and uh, we got to see here which we wouldn't have done otherwise so with that being said guys take care don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell and uh, take care and god bless